What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And as you can see in the background, we are going to Goodwill today. We're going to start our vlogging off by going to Goodwill. So let's go inside and uh, see what their tech sale is and uh, we'll see what we can find as well. Alright guys, heading on in right now. Still very quiet. And uh, looks like it is blue tags. Yes it is. So let's go in. Alright guys, we're in here right now. And if it's not looking too good but uh yeah you got some blu-rays here but yeah i don't know nothing i'm really interested in but down here some dvds more dvds gapery um, some stone cold movie uh complete second season of south park that's kind of cool but i already have it though I've got most of those seasons already anyways. But over here, um, not seeing too much. Uh, over here, yeah, it doesn't look too much. It's Cabin Fever. Um, over here, nothing too much. This is one of the Clone Wars. It's kind of cool. I'll go over here now. Um, it's Big Bang Theory Seasons, um, History of Wrestlemania 1-9, to might get that, that's on sale. Oh yeah! Um, cause I do like the old wrestling titles. Uh, down here, not too much, not too much here, it's Pat. There. And then over here, I found a couple things over here that I might be interested in picking up. A lot of TV show seasons. Down here is where it shines. Some South Park seasons that I do not yet have. Season 10, hopefully that's in good condition. As well as uh, season 12. And down here, 24 seasons, alias seasons. Not too much. Over here, this is the last section of movies, I think. And, uh, Jimmy Fallon, or a tribute to heroes, is on sale. Um, Moma Holly, the greatest collection. That would be interesting, but it's all water damage, so I'm not gonna pick that up. Um, some Game Changers, Disney titles. I think Drop It Gorgeous is out of print. Um,. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything down here either. I'll show you guys what they got. What kind of junk. Some more right there. And over here, we got Jungle Book 2 on Blu ray. And one PS3 game, Lair, which I have no interest in picking up. But, um, last thing to look at here is the CDs, I guess. And I'll just see if there's anything on sale anything if there's anything worth picking up which there does not seem to be anything but we got a lot of cds more more cds and movies that's for sure but um yeah i don't know i'm not seeing anything interesting just basically junk garbage whatever maybe they'll put out some more stuff going to the dead Dark Knight Rises, what's this, Happy Gilmore? Hey guys, but if you love collecting PS2 games, then I wouldn't consider you an actual collector if you do not have Mary-Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 License to Drive in your collection. It's fairly on sale. How rude! But, eh, yeah. Whatever that is. But, yeah. Right, guys, looking at the Halloween stuff here. Got a really cool ghost face ornament here. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks like, I don't know, like a little mini camera holder or something. But, you know, I don't know. This thing that's a candle. Is, you can tell it's made out of wax and everything. But, yeah, just junk. Batman and Darth Vader pails there. And, uh... Got some books. 
No horror movies, though. For some reason. These really freaky masks, including alien ones. And, uh... You can be, you know, the world heavyweight champ right there. This belt. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of junk thrown everywhere. Including some hats. And, um, purses, I guess, but, yeah. I just found the coolest thing ever. Um, inside this Jason Sudeikis, um, movie collection, that is, um, not the right discs, by the way, but you get a pretty mediocre movie. Well, you know, I haven't seen it, but, you know, but on the next page. Call of Duty World War II? Are you kidding me? Where's the actual case for this? That is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a sadder electronic section. That's it. That is unless if you want this Spider-Man plush. Just sitting on the job. I think he should go and, I don't know, rescue some people. Instead of just sitting here. Pizza time. Alright guys, just got out of Goodwill, um, found a couple things in there, not too too much though, but we're gonna head on off to Salvation Army right now. Uh, we haven't really necessarily been there in a while, so let's go there and um, see if there's anything good. Alright guys, here we are, Salvation Army, so uh, let's go on in, see if they have anything like I said. Alright guys, here we are in Salvation Army, um, they got some stuff on top here, but uh, nothing I'm really interested in. Got a couple Blu-rays here, just like Mr. Banks. Let's stay 300. Okay. Got Pete's Dragon here, but uh, I got no interest in that. Um, down here, we have a really awesome Tornado Chi Judgment Day set. Of course, I do already have that. Um, as far as everything else goes, I don't really think there's a whole lot here that I want, but I'll look after. Chief and Chong's next movie. Pick that up. I don't see that a whole lot. Evil Dead remake on Blu-ray. Down here, not seeing a whole lot. And then, this section down here, nothing. Going through the CDs here, I'm sure it's probably just all the same junk that I see everywhere. Um, not seeing any soundtracks or anything that I want, but. Uh, Oh, here's one. Maybe some about Hindu America. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. And just like that, we are out of Salvation Army. Um, what a waste of time. Unless if you guys want some very, very, very common titles. So now we are off to Walmart. So um, I don't know. Maybe we'll find something there. Alright guys, here we are at Walmart. Let's go in and maybe we'll find something. Alright guys, looking at the stuff that's new at Walmart. Uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, that was last week, I believe. But I think Dottie came out. They have that on Blu-ray and on uh, DVD. As well as uh, Uncle Drew. That one came out. They have a 4K of that for some reason. And then of course you get the, the Blu-ray. And then... Was a DVD of that, and the thing I'm looking for is Solo. But oh, here it is. Here's Solo. So they have it on uh, Blu-ray. It's really cool. Uh, I did actually really like this movie. I was really surprised by it. They have it on 4K and also on DVD as well, as well as uh, Indian Horse. I don't know if this came out uh, anywhere else, but. There's that, and over here, yeah, here's all the TV shows, Legends of Tomorrow, the third season, I think that's new, as well as uh, the first season of The Gifted, um, I believe that's like some sort of X-Men show, but um, yeah, Solo, definitely really, really cool. Yeah. Doing something a little bit different here, looking at the, uh, the video games, and ooh yee. Spider-Man. Really want to play that, but um, ugh, not for $80. They got the, the big thing right there. 
Marvel Spider-Man only on PlayStation. Unfortunately, I do have Xbox One, so yeah. Uh, that this this section was empty last time, and now they got a big, huge amount of all those games, as well as uh, FIFA 19. Looks like it came out. Also, NHL 19, NBA 2K19, World War II, which I did see at uh, Goodwill, but uh, I didn't pick it up. It wasn't very good. But yeah, God of War. Baseball, yeah, there you go. There's NHL and FIFA, all the sport games down there. Yeah, as you guys can see, they don't have, yeah, obviously, they don't have Spider Man for Xbox One, but fortunately, they only made it for PlayStation. And it appears the horror movies here um, are pretty much the exact same as last time. Major Halloween's. Uh, Friday the 13th, I have this set. It's the first four movies. It's actually pretty cool. Um, Insidious, Joyride, It. And over here, all the American Horror Stories, pretty much. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, Stephen King sets, Tremors, Paranormal Activity, Poltergeist, all your normal stuff. There's all the kid stuff right there. And then over here, a whole bunch of uh, you know, which would, yeah, um, TV shows, and um, yeah, mostly all the Simpsons ones like we showed last time, all the X Files, and yeah. All right, guys, just got back from Goodwill, Salvation Army, and uh, Walmart, of course, and um, eh, but we'll we'll get on with the pickups here. Um, like I said, I didn't pick up at anything at Salvation Army, but I did pick up stuff at uh, Goodwill. So let's get started with those. And the stuff I picked up at Goodwill was... That's it. They I was looking through everything, and that was all they had that I was really interested in. Um, but a win-win for me, though, because they were both on sale. So we'll take a look at the first title here. Um, I guess I got one movie and I got one miscellaneous thing. I was going to pick up those South Park seasons, but the boxes were destroyed. I was checking one of the seasons and the discs were destroyed. And it was just like, ugh, like this person did not take care of their stuff. So anyway, though, first movie I picked up there was Tootsie, the 25th anniversary. Yeah, 25th anniversary edition. Of course, starring Dustin Hoffman. Um, did not have this one yet, obviously, so I had to pick it up. Um... For being a 25th anniversary edition, there's only, like, three special features. Actually, two, if you don't count the trailer. You get a making of, and you get test footage. That's it. But, it's just one disc inside, and, yeah, so Tootsie. And then the last thing I picked up at Goodwill uh, is actually really cool. And one that I was really, really excited to um, say I own now. And it's a wrestling title, and that is a History of WrestleMania 1-9, uh, 1985 to 1993. Um, I really like old wrestling, actually. I'll admit it right now. Um, not so much the new WWE, because I don't know anybody that's on there besides, like, John Cena. Rey Mysterio, I think, is still on there, and that's about it. Um, but old wrestling, like, especially old WrestleMania stuff... I'll definitely pick that up. Old wrestling is awesome. Because, of course, you have, like, your Hulk Hogan. You have your Andre the Giant. You got your um, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, The Rock, all that stuff. So this one should definitely be a very entertaining watch. And um, I, was, I wasn't I was going to pick this one up at first because I thought this was going to be part of a set. As, you know, it's just, like blank, like, blank in there. It clean, but it's it's apparently not. It's its own title. So, like I said, definitely had to pick it up. And for only a buck seventy five, um, totaling off the three fifty, um, definitely had to pick that up. So that is history of WrestleMania one to nine. So that was it for Goodwill, unfortunately, and did not pick up anything at Salvation Army. But I'll show you guys the uh, one thing that I picked up at Walmart. And um, I'm actually happy to say that I finally picked up something at Walmart. And that is Solo, A Star Wars Story. Uh, I've watched this one. It was actually pretty good. It was better than I thought it was going to be. It was actually pretty well done. 
Um, more entertaining than Last Jedi, I think. Um, but yeah, it benefited from Ron Howard being uh, replacing Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. But um, definitely did enjoy this movie. It'd probably be one that I'd watch again, especially in HD. Um, yeah, this being the Blu-ray Digital Code Multi-Screen Edition, I just thought I'd pick up just the regular version. Because, like, you know, like, my Best Buy has the Steelbooks, but they're just 4K Steelbooks. And, I like, I just like picking up Blu-ray. I don't want to spend $20 on, uh, on 4K. I don't want to spend an extra $20 on 4K just to get a disc that I probably won't watch. So, uh, unfortunately, for most of these releases, until I find Blu-ray Steelbooks, I'm probably just going to have to stick with the regular Blu-ray because I, I hate 4K. I hate it. I'm sorry, but I hate it. I'm not spending 20 extra dollars for a darker picture. And if you guys say it's better, I, I don't know. It, but but it's your guys' opinion, I guess. That's that's my opinion. I don't like 4K at all. It's 20 extra dollars for a darker picture, and it's a waste of money. But, you know, like like I said, anyway, back to Solo. It was enjoyable. Definitely had to pick it up. And um, really nice slipcover as well. Uh, I like the 4K slipcover a little bit better, but, you know, I'll settle for this one because, like, the 4K one was, like, shiny and everything. But, yeah, Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, if you if you guys, uh, I did post my unboxing, so I'll link that uh, down below in the description as well. But, uh, yeah, that is Solo, a Star Wars story. But, anyway, though, that is about it for today. Only three things. What, 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 what. But, um, yeah. I did take a look at the horror movies. It was the same stuff that they had. They actually had better stuff last year, which is pretty bad, actually. Um, there was there was a lot of stuff I wanted to pick up last year, and I yeah I don't know, just unfortunately didn't get around to picking it up. But um, yeah, still three not too bad things, especially one good thing and uh, one awesome thing and one eh, kind of thing. But yeah. Anyway, though, that is about it for this video, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my um, IMDb profile page to see what I've been watching recently. The link for that will also be found in the description of this video. Anyway, though, that is about it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.